Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Supreme Commander to cast, but you already knew that because you are so, so smart. And speaking to the smartest people, only the smartest people have hit that subscribe button and they rang that bell and turned on all notifications so they could be part of the hottest Supreme Commander 2 action that this channel has to offer. And speaking of joining things, click the link down below and be part of the OSS Discord server because the 10 year anniversary of the OSS Clan tournament is coming October 23rd. It is rapidly approaching. Seriously guys, get involved with that. And my band has released an EP about a month or two ago. Seriously, click the link down below and check out If Looks Could Kill, the If Looks Could Kill EP by Black It Out. And guys, let's get on with it. The map is Desolathia. Desolatia, Desolathia. Let's go with Desolathia. Desolathia 4v4. It is a modded map. And you, yes, you could play it with you and your buddies. You could hit the subscribe you could hit the link down below and be part of the supreme commander 2 discord server and ask around about the modded maps it is easy they're, they're actually quite easy to install and i know alpha hex has a tutorial on it so guys seriously check it out you might enjoy it so anyhow team one is over here on the left hand side where my cursor is going over and team 2 is over here on the right hand side where my cursor is going over. A lot of people will say, no duh, Captain Obvious, but you know what, I like to point it out to people who don't know. So anyhow, we got ACAB spawning in as the red UEF commander dropping down a double air factory opener. So I think the back players might be the air spot. This could be an air spot. It might not be the air spot. This is a different map. I've never really played it, but it is... That could be an air spot. Not a bad idea. Then we got Jarek spawning as the white UEF commander dropping down a triple land factory opener. And on the regular map, this is definitely what you got to do a triple, triple land or die. And then we got Fury Regon. What's up, Fury Regon? He is the guy who created the Eco Viewer. Fury Regon is spawning in as the yellow Aeon Commander dropping down a research station and a double land fa factory opener. And we got some scouts going out from both teams. Let's see how they do. Yes, I think they will do just fine. We got Team 2 scouting all day long. I think he's going to be very successful. And then we got Hope spawning in as the orange Cyber Commander dropping down a triple research station opener. And equaling all the things, which is a very, very risky opener. But you know what? You never know with these guys. You know, he's a pro. He knows what is up. So it looks like the purple player has saw, has seen that Jarek has P-Shields. And how far I think this plane crashed. Wow. I, I don't know where that plane crashed. But let's introduce Team 2, shall we? We got Mug and Ra. Well, Mug and Ra spawning in as the purple UEF commander dropping down an air factory and a research station. And he only has one air factory. I think he knows that there's only one air player. And I could see right there, right now, that the other air player on the team has two air factories. And then we got Osmo spawning in as the blue Aeon commander dropping down a triple land factory opener. And then we got Alpha Hex spawning in as the Brown UEF commander dropping down a triple research station opener. A very interesting opener. And it might be very good. I, I see. I think I know what he's got planned. He might be. Uh, this might be a last stand area because that's going to be a lot of point defense. Put a bunch of um, energy generators to repair them. Could be very good. And then we got Nuclear Pizza spawning in as the green Cyber Commander dropping down a double air factory opener and a research station. Could be very, very good. We saw a scout get shot out of the sky. And, and we got Nuclear Pizza promising victory for his team in 30 minutes or less. Or it is absolutely free. We got ACAB getting bombed right in the face. And we got Mug and Raw pushing in over anti-air and getting shot in the back. Nobody wants that for an air fight. This is not a good spot. Team 2 should not be taking this fight. This is very, very 
very not good. <laughs> it's very bad, guys. Um, I think I think ACAB is going to win this air fight, even though he's against two air forces. They're equally well. No, they're not equal. I think Team Two had a little bit more, maybe, but anti-air does a whole whole lot. So anyhow, anyhow, guys, before we really get into this match, I want to say I I already casted part of this, but a big big problem happened. Windows decided to update while I'm casting. Could you believe that? And then it just restarted my computer. It, it literally gave me a black screen for a few moments. I had to restart. And boom, here we are again. I am not happy about that. And Fury Regon pushing ahead very bravely or foolishly against a bunch of shotjas. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, no, I mean. That's got to suck. A bunch of uh, MMLs hitting a, a little... A little... Oh, nice bombing run. We got some MMLs taking out some Shachas. Definitely not what you want to have happen as a, as the Shacha player. Shachas are only good pointing at you. They're very good at taking out ACUs. I'll, I'll tell you what. They're very, very good at... Oh, suck up some delicious yummy my mask. That mask. Yo, good job, Alpha Hex. That's, what, that's, why we, that's why he's a pro. That's why we love him. He does the good things. And we got Jarek doing the same thing. Good job, Jarek. Sucking up some delicious yummy MMS. mask. Dat mass, yo. And we got some MMLs taking out a core mass extractor. That is not good. We got an engineer pushing up for Osmos. Just chilling. Just chilling, you know. Kicking back old school, you know. No big. Um, Fury Regon putting down a factory. An Anti-air tower. Pretty good. Uh, Fury Regon, what are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Fury Regon. No, no, no. Oh, boy. If those things turn around and give him, like, one or two volleys, he could be dead. Now, Jarek saved his life with those peace shields. Mount Fury Regun. Oh, no! I told you. And boom. Down he goes. The ACU remover is on the field. I'm serious. Like, a bunch of shotjas are ACU removers. Very, very deadly. Very, very effective. What is this? Nuclear Pizza is up on the... The, the highest mountain and, and building a bunch of of uh in, what do you call those uh mass extractors pretty good pretty good not a bad idea now speaking of removers we got a, a unit remover these guys kill shachas at a distance shachas of course you kill them when they teleport on them but i gotta tell you look at those shachas melt and look at them have to run away very very deadly a good old-fashioned we got a, uh, you know, a very good old-fashioned megalith. It sweeps, it mops, it removes shachas for only three easy payments of $9.99. They could be yours as well. Of course, I am kidding. They cost hundreds of hundreds of mass and thousands of uh, energy. So, plan accordingly when playing. Now, Team 1 is down a player, and they're also, well... Nuclear Pizza is up for mass extractors, so yeah, I mean, Hope is going to be up mass here in a little bit, sucking up some delicious yummy mass, recycling his teammates' mass extractor. Alpha Hex has a fat boy, two fat boy, well, gantries on the field. They can be very, very powerful, putting down some energy generators right nearby to repair things. Good idea. That's good placement, especially in the late game. If that is the direction Alpha Hex decides to go. Now, Megaliths are very, very strong. However, we got a bunch of Aeon Shields. Aeon Shields are very, very powerful. Look at those attacks just bounce right off. They are not going to get through that easily, especially under fire from Fat Boys. Peace Shields do very, very well against Fat Boys. But there's gonna there's just gonna be more and more fat boys as time goes on. You're you're not gonna want this. Oh, <laughs> mug and raw, funny guy. Um, he's got MMLs at attacking hopes, mass extractors. This is a very good move here by mug and raw. I mean, this is top notch here. This mass extractor has a lot of HP. It is it was it was getting there in veteran seas. It was doing pretty good. A single plane isn't going to dislodge this. 
Yeah, this is this is a really good position there for Team 1. I mean, for Team 2. Very bad position for Team 1. I'm just kidding. Um, they really need to respond with some sort of force there. I mean, putting down a point defense is going to easily, you know, get rid of these two rockheads that I don't understand why two rockheads are being dispatched. All they have to do is build two rockheads of their own, and that could be a problem. Now, this is a really, really good position here for Team 2. Those fat boys are going to be able to rain down heck over these these pea shields. A pea shields? A, oh, a couple pea shields die. See, guys, once there's critical mass of units, pea shields die. They do die. It happens. Now, there's going to be a bunch of air for nuclear pizza. Nuclear pizza is going to have so many air units. We got a cicada here. A very, very good unit. Very, very strong unit making these these units invisible to their opponents. Oh, the cicada goes down. So those megas are very much so in trouble. Those megaliths are not... Yeah, those megaliths are going to have a very, very bad day if those peace shields go down, which they are slowly going down. Some damage is going off on those megas. No megas have died yet. I don't know why they aren't committing, pushing in, and just destroying stuff. There we go. That's what I like to see. I mean, this is a good spot. This is a good spot to push in. This is a great spot to push in, in fact. Like, oh, a jackhammer! That is going to be insane. It is... It, oh, that poor jackhammer. Its home is destroyed. Is it able to fire this close? Oh my goodness it is! It took down the shield! It took down the shields! It took down the shields! Oh, that jackhammer! Oh, that jackhammer was so good! Alvax's jackhammer is so good. This is an easy air cleanup. Where's... Oh, they're over there. They're over there. Oh, they're doing some damage. They're doing some work. That single jackhammer saved the day. Those P there was enough peace shields to win the match. I mean, Alpha Hex lost his base, but that's okay. Hope? Did Hope control K? Why did he control K? Is it over? Or did he get bombed? Ah, yes, it's the chain route. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess they put all their eggs in that basket and it failed and they died. So, uh, yeah, that was a really clutch jackhammer. And I gotta say, Alpha Hex, dude, great control over that jackhammer. I thought it was gonna die, but he pushed it in a good position. All he had to do was take down the shield, and the fat boys were in a good position to do the rest. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? I mean, that was a top play. I mean, that jackhammer almost died as it came out of the gantry. I have to tell you guys, I'm impressed. There's a lot of great plays there. Mug and Raw right there was able to uh, get a little, get some leeway in here, do some damage. Nuclear Pizza, you know, taking a bunch of mass and having more resources than his opponent. Uh, Osmos really held the line and was able to snipe Fury Regon there early on. Very, very good. And don't get me wrong, Jarek held really well with his peace shields, did an awesome job. Um, Fury Regon pushed really hard and could have done something really great there. ACAB held the air down pretty well for his team. And Hope did awesome with his units. And it, they just got, you know, that jackhammer came out at, at the right time. And they pushed two seconds earlier, or like, well, 30 seconds earlier, that jackhammer would not have existed. Isn't that crazy? Like, what, 30 seconds would have, like... A difference of 30 seconds like crazy guys crazy so anyhow alpha hex thank you for sending me this replay it is a really good one i enjoyed it i thought that clutch jackhammer was amazing so guys if you want to play on this map and other maps like it there is alpha hex has a tutorial on how to install these maps he also has 
you know, a lot. Well, yes, he does have that. He has also some Supreme Commander 2 videos on his channel as well. Join the Supreme Commander 2 disc. Did I my voice just crack? <clears throat> you know, I've been singing. I'm trying to, like, uh, practice more. So give me a break. The Supreme Commander 2 Discord server. Join it and ask about the mods. People will help you. So I'm going to end this, guys. Let's get done with this. So like this like this video, subscribe to my channel favorite because that helps me out. Send your good replays to steelspeaks at gmail.com or do like Alphax did. He joined the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server. Just kidding. He made the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server. And then he uploaded it to hashtag replays for steelspeaks. And then he added me. You could also find me on there and direct message me. And do only one of those. If you do them all, I'm, I'm not going to be able to respond quite easily. So yeah. So say, guys, seriously, comment down below. Say something nice. Say something about that clutch jackhammer. Seriously, that jackhammer really came in clutch. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It, it came in to win the game, seriously. Like, if that didn't happen, it would have been game GG. So, yeah. Awesome job. So comment down below. Say something nice with the players about the game, about me, about whatever. Just say something nice. You know, people like nice things. And 2021 has been a little bit better than 2020. It still kind of sucks, though, you know. But anyhow, yeah, moving on. Um, yeah, I think I'm going uh, <laughs> to... If you like what I do and you want to support this channel, the Patreon page, you can hook me up with some cash there. If you are so inclined to do so, it's not a requirement, but you definitely can. My patrons like Alpha Hex, Iron Commander, uh, Novitrix, and Helios, you guys are amazing. Thank you so, so much. And if you guys don't want to hook up cash monthly like that, you could also buy some of my some of my band's music wherever it is sold. You could also stream it for absolutely free on Spotify if you have it, or you could get it for free on your desktop and stream it a few times. That really helps me out. And if you can't do... Well, yeah, if you could do that, would be great. And, yeah, that'd be cool. Or you could also buy it from Bandcamp.com. It is... Uh, all my band's music is 90% off there. So, yeah, let's, let's move forward. Share with your friends, family, and foes. You can get something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, GG.